this is a headline that may have caught your attention. It's pretty hard to swallow. Can mouthwash kill gonorrhea? So, <laughs> how was that transition? I'm putting you, on the you, you didn't, here. Like, you didn't well, like talking well, about down there, so we're gonna well, go. Well, here's what I will tell you. Mouthwash, if it's a really, like, a minty, fresh mouthwash that's really wonderful, can get you gonorrhea. Because, you know, there are some people that would say, his breath, he smells so good, I oh. want to spend time with him. <laughs> oh, that's a very, good, very valid point. So, but okay. You could use it on both sides. I don't know. But no, listen that's to my story. So gonorrhea. two-way street. That's how you get it, that's how you cure it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, gonorrhea, it is no laughing matter. Obviously, you can get oral gonorrhea. Professor actually tested the mouthwash theory on men who had detectable levels of throat gonorrhea. It is a bacteria. Half the men were asked to gargle with salt water. The other half were given a mouthwash. Now, this was a mouthwash that appeared to reduce the detectable amount of gonorrhea, more so than the salt water. But this is very important, because this is the headline out there, and a lot of people now are like, oh, if I just gargle, I'm fine. It was not a cure for gonorrhea. It's understandable. Some of these mouthwashes have very high levels of alcohol, which we know there's a reason why we put alcohol on our hands when we want to sanitize right, them. But, but who in the world is saying, you know what, I've got gonorrhea. Do you have any, do you have some gum? Do you have mouth gum? <laughs> <laughs> so um, we're gonna flip the script here. Um, did you ever have any sex rules before marriage? Did I have what? Sex rules or anything, you know. Sex rules? Yeah, just because Watching obviously you, you've lived a very unique no, life. No running, touch, no diving, no horseplay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no rules. I don't have a rule, there was no rule. Okay. I can't. I was just referring to more so with the germaphobe phobia. Because this, the reality is, obviously, there are things like sexually transmitted diseases. There are things that are very worrisome. And for someone who's a germaphobe, this could be a good thing in this scenario because we know that not protecting yourself against these things can be a big, big deal. So I was just curious because, again, your mind is shaking hands. I imagine. Right. The you you meet a okay. woman. The genitals are okay. But, <laughs> okay. you know, when, when, like, in the moment, and I've always been a very, uh, uh, you know, uh, trustworthy person, I would say sometimes, like, and this is before marriage, you know, I'm going to put on protection, but, and I think that the woman thought something else. It was just gloves. I would just put on gloves. <laughs> <laughs> it was just oh, no personal protection, just... yeah. Let me put on mittens, mostly mittens. I would... <laughs> I like having sex with mittens and socks. Really? <laughs> well, incidentally, as we close out the segment, just one quick word on sexually transmitted diseases. There's a reason why you're mentioning gloves, and et cetera, for the end, but there's a reason why using condoms can prevent the spread of sexually transmitted diseases. That's why it's so very important, because gonorrhea in many people is asymptomatic. Uh, had to get a little bit serious there for a moment. You won't. No, do no, 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 no. And 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 I think it's serious. And I think you know my phobias are serious, and I make light of it. And laughter has been a great bridge for me to be able to deal with it. And also, it's been it's been you know. Uh, people identify with me as far as being a germ phobia. The lovely people at American Standard made me the spokesperson for their new ActaClean. They have a new germ-free cleaning. You don't have to use a brush anymore. I'm always afraid that, you know, I'm, how many people in this audience have cleaned their toilets in the last week well. themselves? Okay, so all those hands are people I want to go nowhere near. <laughs> so, so I'm the face of this new Act to Clean toilet where you never have to clean your bowl well, you again. Are you just the touch new a Mr. button. Mr. Clean, I mean, you got the look. I am.